Hi, I'm Mike Smalley, welcome to Bell Strength. So today we're going to go over assistance work for the big three lifts, specifically talking about pause work. previous weeks and previous episodes, paused work means you have to do that to an extra degree. Okay, and if you do that and you are honest with your pauses, you're going to get stronger, which is the aim. It makes the weight harder for sure, so you always have to dial back a little bit on it, but the point is the tension, the integrity of the position and how you're holding yourself, and then that in itself, by getting stronger with that, which is what the pause work will do, will then increase your weights later on when it comes back to the lifts themselves. Where you put it in your session, it depends, like everything. It's one of those ones where it's an assistance exercise. So if we're looking at the important overall, in terms of, say, your week's programming, it's still, in most cases, gonna come second to the big lift itself, the main lift you're doing, squat, or squat. However, in a particular session, you may prioritize it, so you've got the energy, you're fresh, in order to do your paused work really well, and therefore you get more benefit from it. In theory, you can do pause work on any exercise, but it lends better to your bigger compound movements in terms of getting stronger. If we're looking from a powerlifting point of view, bench press, you have to pause it in competition anyway, so we're pausing at the bottom, most difficult part. In a squat, we'd also look to pause down at the bottom of the squat, so it means as well as the extra strength from the legs, the tightness that we need to keep through the torso, which is vitally important, becomes even more important, and that's the key. And then a deadlift, we actually pause roughly halfway. There's different variations and takes you can do on it, just off the ground, you can pause above the knee. If we're looking at roughly halfway up, just below the knee, that's where the pause and keeping tight is the most difficult time, and that's why it has the biggest benefit. Strong through the middle, and strong through the lift. You always want to make your pause definitive. If you think you're pausing for a long time, watch it back on video, you've got someone watching you, and they can't even tell, and you can't tell you're pausing, then you might need either a counter, some sort of noise, someone counting for you, at least a second, okay? And that's a good sort of 1,000 second. And you are really holding the pause, okay? You're holding the technique, you're holding the position, you feel the tension, that's the key to it. When you pause, do you want to be thinking about keeping everything tight, okay? We talk about that all the time, we talk about week on week with your exercises, but again, it's doing it even more so. But to elaborate on that, I think the best thing to do when you're pausing is to think about one or two specific cues that have either been given to you or you want to try for yourself, and then everything else is just on that tension and that tightness. If you overcomplicate it, you're going to overcomplicate your movement and there's more things that can go wrong. So tension, think about one or two cues perhaps, and then just go through your lift from there. Keep it simple. When you're coming out of your pause, you should really try to think about finishing the lift, continuing the lift, as you would do normally. So all the things that you would do from there, you want to make sure you've got. So you're pausing and you're stopping. So it feels different, but the acceleration and explosion through the rest of the portion of the lift, the second half of the lift, etc., that needs to be as much, if not more, than usual. The easiest thing you can try with pausing today, literally, right this moment, would be if you do your body weight squats, pause at the bottom and have the intention of holding tension through your legs and through your torso, compared to just doing your body weight squats up and down, just relaxed air squats. Or the same with a push up. You can literally do it right now, pause at the bottom, tense everything up, get nice and tight. Feel the difference there, and then imagine the difference you're gonna make and the difference you'll feel when you've got X amount of weight on your back or in your hands. So pausing with your body weight, your squats, your push-ups, that gives you a good idea of what to feel and will prepare you better for when you're putting load onto your body afterwards. Any questions, drop a line in the comments. That's Bell Strength.